What is a readability score? In general, it's how easy it is to read your content. With tools like the Flesh Kincaid Readability Test, you can determine at roughly what level a reader needs to be to understand your text. This includes sentence length, scannability, vocabulary level, how common each word is, syllable count for each word, active versus passive voice, and use of standard punctuation and mechanics. Now let's look at some of the tools you can use to keep your writing as accessible as possible. First up is Grammarly. The free version includes spelling, punctuation, mechanics, and basic grammar checks, whereas the premium version includes the word choice suggestions, more complex grammatical analysis, and more in-depth checking across the board. You can have real-time checking for free with a simple browser extension. Number two, readable.io. Plans start at $4 per month for their basic services. You can scan existing content by URL or as a file. They provide downloadable reports and email scanning too. If you go into their higher tiers, you can simply put in the primary URL of your site and they will scan the entire thing and send you a report of what works and what doesn't. Number three, WebFX Readability Test Tool. This free tool allows you to copy and paste the entire text directly to be analyzed. You can insert a single link at a time and even include a button in your footer or sidebar where you can dynamically check any page on your site. You also get access to multiple scores and ratings of your writing. Now let's check out some WordPress plugins. First up is Yoast SEO. Not only does it keep track of the keyword targets you're writing for, but it also has a complete separate section dedicated to the readability of your posts. You're given a rating of red, yellow, or green. You are graded on a lot of different points and you don't need to get a green rating in all of them to be good. Number two, SEM Rush SEO Writing Assistant. This plugin will go over your content, give you a score, suggest keywords, help you adjust based on the top Google results, and even check for plagiarism. Once your content is scored, you'll get suggestions based on which sentences and words you can improve. And finally, number three, Squirrely SEO. If you're not the type who wants numbers to rate your content and you just wanna know that it's good enough for Google, this is for you. It also tells you whether or not you have keywords stuffed so much that your content is unreadable. It tells you if the article is human friendly or not, and it also looks over your copy and tests for semantic readability, not just mechanical and grammatical. And before we go, here are some tips for achieving readability. Keep sentences short, write like you're talking to a kid, hit enter more than you want to, read your text aloud, and don't try to sound like a writer. If you enjoyed this video, then be sure to give it a like and subscribe for more content. With that said, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.